A soldier's final journey home, Army Specialist Jacoby McFarland died on January 2nd in Hawaii and he will be brought home. He's a Jasper native. The 25 year old was just days away from discharging with the Army. 12 News reporter Tyler Segerman joins us now to tell us what's planned for his arrival and how you can show support. Arlen's death are still unknown, but we do know many people will be helping escort the fallen veteran tomorrow morning. At 8 a.m. tomorrow, the plane carrying McFarland's body is scheduled to land at the George Bush Intercontinental Airport in Houston. From there, law enforcement and a group called the Patriot Guard Riders for the Golden Triangle will escort the veteran to Woodville. The escorts will, the escorts will head north along US-69 to Livingston before merging onto Highway 190 toward Woodville. The group plans to arrive at Coleman Family Mortuary around 1030. So if anyone wants to show support for McFarland, his escort will go through cities like New Caney, Cleveland and Shepherd shortly after 9 o'clock. Emmett Hollier, who will be a part of the escort, says it means a lot for people to show support along the ride. When we see these folks on the side of the road, it tells us two things. One, they're patriotic. One, they're standing tall and silent for this veteran. But you know, they're taking time out of their busy day to make sure they're there. Some of them salute if they're veterans. Some of them just place their hand over the heart as the procession drives by them. Many in Tyler County are already planning to show support once McFarland reaches Woodville. Colmenel ISD says students in 7th through 12th grade will begin getting on buses at 10 a.m. at Hennigan Ballpark. They will then head down to Woodville to show support for McFarland. The Tyler County Chamber of Commerce also will be providing American flags for people waiting on the procession. Again, McFarland's escort is planned to arrive in Woodville around 1030 a.m. tomorrow. We do feel like it's our duty to give back. This is the very least we can give back to these veterans that have served either four years, eight years, or possibly even 30 years in the military for us. Hollier says they'll do their best to keep people updated on the arrival time using their Facebook page, the Patriot Guard Riders Golden Triangle. The group will also escort McFarland on Saturday from Woodville to Jasper. His funeral is scheduled for 1 p.m. in Jasper. We will have a crew there tomorrow as McFarland makes his final journey home to Southeast Texas. Tyler Segerman, 12 News.